Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to another episode of the Map Pack 2 Survival. Wait a minute, uh, Hardcore? Not Survival? Really? I think it's Hardcore, we're playing Hardcore. The Map Pack 2 Hardcore? Have I been saying Survivor this whole entire time? <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, lots of things have changed. We've got a face cam here, you can see my mic here, you can see all this cool stuff here and here and here, and we're now doing it differently. We're doing... I deleted the old world. I did delete the old world because that was beta 11. We're playing beta 12 now, and I'm not gonna keep bulk footage stocked up and releasing. I'm gonna do it lots and daily, daily, daily. Right, so let's make, let's make a new world. Let's call it YouTube, so we know which one it is. As you can see back there, I was playing Twitch a lot, so we, we know so much more about this now. I'm gonna call that world number five. Uh, let's call world number five. And we're doing scrub core and we're allowing cheats because we're doing hardcore questing mod. We're gonna enable that as soon as we get in and then hopefully things be good. We find a good spawn. We get a lot of stuff. So we're the still the aim of the game is still to get firstly to the transmutation table. So we do need a roguelike dungeon because that's the easiest way to find. Oh my god, there's a what? Okay, you know. My my map just glitched out of. Oh good, no dramas. Right, so we do need... Oh, Arisaurs. Hell yeah. Getting some some Arisaur meat is a major good thing early game. We're still trying to find a, a roguelike to get to um, the glowstone. Or we could find a blaze house. The, the two easy ways of getting, getting the glowstone early game. Because you need that for the transmutation table. It's good not to go to a roguelike and live in there for the start. Because... Getting down to gold and um, golden diamond level in a roguelike dungeon is just like really, really damn hard. All right, so we got a bunch of wood. As you can see, rubber now has EMC. So many Project E updates in beta 12, which were amazing. Amazing, so good. All right, we need some bulk, we need bulk wood. So we'll grab bulk wood before we head down underground. I'm gonna grab bulk sticks and then with these, make sure we have one pick and then the rest I'll make into axes. And these are just gonna make um, us mine quicker. Mine, vein mine, um, lumberjack, chop down trees. You know what I mean. All right, and there's a chickens. Kinda wanna grab one of everything um, while we're up here. I love carrots. I don't want to sprint too much. We do need Minichio seeds or even just normal seeds. Normal seeds are do, but we need to grab that because that's all in the uh, the recipe for the transmutation table, which we are trying to get first. I really don't want any kind of spring to spawn from uh, knocking down all these things. Oh, no. Nope. All right, so there's a beehive over there. Let's keep a little bit away. Don't want to mess with that just yet. Um, we need coal and all that kind of stuff as well, but rubber, rubber's good good for uh, torches early game. We've got seven. Let's make sure we get a little more. I kind of want at least 16 rubber. Uh, wait, wait, no. 17, because I want to keep one. I want to keep one rubber um, so then we can learn it in the transmutation table once we get that. And 16 rubber is a full stack of torches. Which is why I chose that number. Right, so that's 19. That's perfect. That's all we need for that. Um, I do want to knock some of these guys out. Some arisaurs if I can. <gasps> that arisaur meat. This stuff here. This stuff here. This stuff, if we cook it, will give us regen. That amazing regen. Right, we may as well knock some uh, cobble down from over here in this little ravine. Tiny, tiny ravine. That's not even a ravine. That's just a crack. Alright, so we'll grab this, make a sword out of this, and some uh, maybe some upgraded tools. Yeah, why not? Um, and then we'll be able to knock out these arrow swords a little quicker, take their meat, and then if we can, find some berries after that. So, so we may as well make another crafting table. We got bulk wood. Spend that bulk wood while we're up here. It's plentiful, it's everywhere! Also, I'm going to try and keep my episodes to 20 minutes. Um, I was going a lot over pre, pre this episode, 
<laughs> we're doing some pretty long episodes, like 40 minute episodes. I think they were getting a little too long. So I'm gonna try and make them as small as possible. Um, let's kind of knock this guy out. He can't get us under here, so I think we're alright. I just can't find him. There he is. And he should give us that delicious meat. Eight! Ho oh, shazam! Um, knock this guy out. You want the axe to kill these guys because they are a, um, a forest mob, which means double damage from axes. This guy, 20, but we should hit him with two tens and knock him out. Or we could, uh, breed them. Breeding them is another good way to go. The baby, I should have probably left. The babies you don't get loot from. Wolf. Cool. Wolf is! Um, let's burn up the, uh, the durability on these guys. Don't worry about them. We got one apple from that RSL. Apples are good. We need them. But, uh, for now, we need berries. And not to sprint. No sprinting and we need berries. Let's take this just in case. Oh my god, we found berries. Hell to the ear. So once we got all the stuff that we need, we don't have to wait the rest of the day out. We can simply head downstairs and get more stuff done. Down there. There's more berries over here. I guess anywhere around here is good enough to head down. Because we got everything. Maybe kind of near water. There's a little bit of water over here. So this way could be the way to go. We got not... Oh, cool. Does this have a spawner underneath it? No. Alright, that's good then. Um, and we also need to check out the map. See if we can find ourselves. Oh, damn. Right, there's a massive ravine there. This means it's going to be cave systems underneath us here. Kind of don't want to run into the cave systems. I'd rather just get straight down to, um, to like almost bedrock. Ideally. Let's grab this clay. Because that has EMC. And that's a really good thing. We want all of the stuffs. We want to get into Tinkers. Tinkers weapons, great early game. Um, did we get, did we get sugar cane? No, we have not got sugar cane yet, but uh, I guess we can signal some wood for paper. So, that's a thing as well. Um, I'd like, I'd like to chop down one of these big dark trees. These big dark trees, because they have, where were they? Over in this forest. That's bulk wood, so quickly. So maybe if I knock down this guy, then hope, no, oh wait, we'll do this one. We'll knock down this one. Hopefully no ant, no ant, oh my god. Hell to the yeah. And that is 39 wood. It's pretty good. I do want another one, but I think I'm just getting greedy. Because I don't really need that much wood. I really don't. But we'll do it anyway. We already did it. Now, that's 64. That's plenty. Let's try and sneak down. I don't want to be too far away from water, but I do want to be far away from this cave. So that's a pickle. And I want to be pretty low so I don't have to, uh, to climb too high. To come back up to get water once we get iron and, uh, bones for our berry crops. I guess we just follow this around. Follow this lake around and we'll sit on the outside of it. Over here. A little ravine. No! Jeez. Fucking raging chicken. You be raging too, buddy. Why are you angry? I'll take your feathers, though. Give me them, hey? And... Oh, legit. This is exactly good stuff. This is amazing stuff. I want it. I want that. And I kind of don't want a Geo, but I really want this Certus Quartz as well. Yes! No Geos! Happy days! That's, that's, that's good. That is so good. Alright. Because now we can make a grinder. Which means we can double our ore. Okay, there's a little bit of water. That's kind of nice. Let's go down here. This, this place looks kind of... Alright, I know there is a, a cave system over there, but hopefully this is far enough away that we're all happy. We'll dig into the side of this mountain over here. And to do that, I may as well make a shovel. So we'll make another crafting bench. Leave this guy up here. The crafting bench and shovel, please! This'll just make it a little quicker. I really don't have to, but you know. 
What up? We got bulk resources. Bulk resources for now, until we run out of them and then wish we never made all this stuff. Wasted all this stuff on this stuff. Alright, so what are we up to? 10 minutes. Looking good so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the episodes. Please, if you are, do slap that like button, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I need F7 on. F7 from NEI will show us these red X's and yellow X's. Red X's are where the... Are where mobs can spawn day or night. The other X's, the yellow ones, are where mobs can spawn uh, during the night time only. Because our uh, lighting and space conditions allow. Alright, so we'll make rubber torches there. A full stack of them. And then light up this bad boy down here. And we do not want to be able to get out. So I'll block that off. Now, there's no yet yeah, X's. Nothing. We're all safe. This is going to be the first little bit of home. First little bit of home. And we'll uh, definitely move along after it. Alright, so I don't need it to be huge. We just need to get a few things done. So, food is a thing. I'm going to need a crafting bench down here. Crafting bench. Going to put it in the ground there. And then two furnace there. So, we'll make another one of these guys. we make so many of these crafting benches. And I like that one. The Tinker crafting bench. Um, and now I need maybe 32. 32s of the wood. That'll make us um, some double chests. Uh, which I want to go there, there, and I'll dig that top bit out so we can actually open the chest. Alright, looks good. First night you can't not sleep, and you don't really want to sleep very much during the, the Mad Pack at all. Especially if you're playing hardcore, because that'll just raise the difficulty. That's all it'll do. It, it will get rid of the night as well, but still. The difficulty, once it hits a certain point, once it changes to blue, you start getting invasions instead of, um, ghosts. And the invasions are a hell of a lot harder, and get the fudge out. Did we get 16 iron from that? That's ridiculous. But that is hell good, I'll take it all. I will take it all. And I want to cook that. Hmm. We need, we ain't getting coal. But, to do that, I'm going to burn this uh, this rubber wood up. So, to burn it, I'll make a whole bunch of the planks. Because that has a burn time of 300. And you get three of them per rubber wood, when a rubber wood only has a burn time of 300. Really, that should be like 900. Or in the case of normal wood, it should be like at least 1200, but uh, obviously not. And the, the burn time to cook one item is 200. So 300 is one and a half. All right, so that's gonna cook us charcoal, and then charcoal we can use to cook other things. Rubber wood's just annoying in the inventory. Uh, so down here I'll probably cook. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. We um, need to cook a juicer. Cook a juicer first so we can get some food going. Yep, yep. Big time. So three of those, and to cook those three, I will get rid of some of that wood. And not wasting the coal, the charcoal yet. Keep the charcoal. Keep that for later, right? So that's kind of nice stuff. Um, I don't need that on me or any of this just yet. Poop butter. Um, we do need to cook the raw arrow meat. It's a really good thing to have at this, this stage of game. Uh, so the wood can go in there as well, and the rubber can go in there as well. I do want to make one strawberry into a seed, so then I don't accidentally eat it. But then I could possibly starve, because I don't have one tiny bit of food to get me through to the next bit of food. Alright, so that is going to make the juicer with uh, the stone. So you make a stone pressure plate, and then put the, the block of stone on top. Now we juice all of the food here. The blueberries. And the blackberries. And this will give us... See, if I hold shift, it tells me how much hunger it'll heal from eating it. If I juice it, it goes from being half a heart to like two and a half hearts, or two and a half uh, steaks, or whatever you want to call them. Two and a half points. Alright, so that's a lot of juice for us for right now. We can put that juicer in there. That can cook up those two. And we need to eat, get that full hunger up, and then we need to try and get ourselves down to gold level. We need 
Actually, we need to stop. Stop at about level 45 first. Because that's where I want to find some tin. And, uh... Some copper. Tin and copper will get us bronze. Which will be an amazing, amazing pickaxe. It has a lot of damage. Um, against Geos. So it'll hit Geos for 16. Because it has an attack of 8. So we'll start digging down. And I kind of want to make some... If I can, and not waste too many cobbles, I want to make a lot of ladders. Ladders are probably the quickest way to get down, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, I also need to make a bucket and everything like that. So, what were we up there? About 60. Let's dig down to uh, 55. And try... Oh, try not to get any silverfish. Silverfish would be ideally bad. All right. And now let's keep going. We want to get all the way down to 45 before we start looking for copper and tin. I find that I find a lot of it. I find that I find a lot of that around level 45. Which makes it pretty easy. I've never tried on any any higher level, but I've tried lower. And 45 seems to work pretty good for both of those. It even gets you set of quartz and stuff. So granite now has EMC as well. Which is good. We can uh, get rid of it. So that's level 45. Let's pull these ladders down to here and then dig off the back here looking for some copper and tin. Iron ore, let's take that. And if we can... Oh, we're up 16 minutes, we don't have long left! Let's keep going and uh, just pop a vein mine out the end here. Oh, I should have done it with a more durable pick. Alright, so we'll block that up. Oh! Osmium now has EMC as well. Another amazing thing from the change. That's tiny. All right. Well, we need to get some, some space. There we go. We got copper. We got iron. Oh, we got more copper over there. It's all legit copper too. It's not fake. That's fake. That's not. All right. Cool. Well, let's dig this out as safely as possible. Like hiding in here. Oh, dang. Now, if we can wreck him... Oh my god, he's stuck. Hell yeah! That's what you get, buddy. Oh, you're shitting me. Alright, so this guy's not gonna be fun. Come in here. He will give us obsidian, hopefully. No, you fool. Damn. How the hell did we do that? Oh my god, we haven't enabled hardcore questing. We could've, we could've been cheating, but we're not. Slash HQM hardcore. I always forget to do that at the start. You guys never remind me. But I guess, how could you remind me? This is a video. <laughs> Alright. Let's take this. And that Certus Quartz I do want as well. And that got a 6. Which means we need at least 2 tin. Alright, we'll take, we'll take this. I mean, I want all of this. But I don't want it to knock out that. Damn it. Alright, that's real. We'll take that. No! Of course. Of course. Come on, we need to wreck him, we need to wreck him, we need to wreck him. Jump, 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 jump. Oh my god. Damn. No, there's another one of these guys. No. That is dangerous. That is nasty. That is not what we wanted to happen. But we did get some copper. And we've got the Arisaw meat, so we should really, really, really go and heal ourselves right now. I think some is is stuck underneath because we got an experience of floating around us. So the vein mine probably popped some from down here somewhere. I don't know where, but all right, let's just go back and get ourselves. Make sure this is lit first so nothing spawns. Ah, it's over here. There it is. It got stuck over there. Let's go back and eat that arisaw meat. We need to cook it first so then it regens us, and you'll see the regen it gives. It's amazing. It is so good, amazing. And then, um, once we've healed up, we will end it. Alright, so nine of them. I'll use one of those to cook all of that, which will be good for us. And we did now get ourselves some nether quartz. We got a lot of this and a lot of this. That's cool. That's very, very good. We got a lot of coal as well. And a sight and all that. It has EMC, but it's still junk. It's still junk, and we got a bone. Hell, yes. That's amazing as well. Which means with a bone, 
we can make ourselves the watering can. And with the iron, let's do this. We need three of those. I need three of those. And I need some sticks. We'll make some sticks. While we're waiting for this, uh, this stuff to cook, even though it's probably already cooked. All right, so we need a wooden gear. We're gonna make the grindstone is what we're doing. This guy, come on. And yeah, this guy right here, the quartz grindstone. Um, so I've got everything to make that. I'm just gonna quick craft that. Hopefully you guys saw the recipe right there. And I need, oh my god, really? I need to make another. Uh, let's make it out of something a little better. Let's make it out of the Certus Quartz there. So I'll make this guy. And just do things a little faster. I need to dig that up over there. Grindstone on the bottom. And now I need uh, more sticks yet again. This guy is going to be uh, the, the derp stick, the punching. The punching bag that we put on top, punch there. Um, and the cooked aerosol meat is going to give us some amazing regen. Ready? Watch this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam! Health boost, which heals us up completely. And that's 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 our that's our regen. We're, we're full health again. Yeah, buddy. And in here, and yeah, see, once the health boost goes, we're stuck with full health. We're stuck with full health. Damn it! Just joking, it's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna punch three of these guys. Even though that's way too many, I only need to punch two. We're gonna punch this, cook some iron out of this, and then make ourselves a bucket. Oh wait, we need, um, we actually need to punch one more, I think. I think we need to punch one more. Because I need four plus two. No, I didn't need to punch one more. No, three plus four, so yes, I did. Oh my God, get your math right. No bad math. And then that's going to be the app because we're at 22 minutes. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please do slap that like button if you have. Leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And uh, there'll be episodes daily like there have been. We're back onto it. We're back onto it and we're going to keep going. Uh, we'll take that out and I may as well cook it with some coal. Yeah, that looks good. Cook away, my friend. And this will get us the good stuff. Um, I got junk in the bottom chest there, as you can see. And stuff that I actually need in the top chest here. This is all kind of important stuff. The other one's just not so important stuff. And our soulmate, I don't want to... Yeah, I kind of do want to ult me. Because this is hardcore. If we die, we're, we're going to lose it anyway. And we're going to have to fight our way back to it. Either or. It's not going to be easy. All right, so if it's daytime... I keep, I keep saying that we're going to end this. Just keep wanting to do a, do a few more things. Just, oh my god, is poop party still out there? Is that a poop party? No, that's pumpkin head. <gasps> yes, pumpkin head's good. Right, this, oh my god, I don't have, I don't have an axe on me. I need an axe to wreck these guys, to get face wrecked. Right, so I need three of that and two sticks just to make an axe. This will do a lot of damage to these fools up there, which is what we need. Right, let's pop out, face wreck this guy, grab some water. Where's he gonna? What you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? 14 damage. Oh my god! So maze balls. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. All right, that's it. That's the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you, hopefully, you will tune in for the next one where we'll keep going.